Hello there everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Tony or Tre Call of Duty Ghost with my partner here, Ghost 17 BC. I'm sorry if I butchered your name, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I got it right. I got it right? Yep, you got it All right. right. Alright, so why don't you just introduce yourself and let's get started. Okay. Hey guys, Ghost 17 BC here with another commentary oh, with Tretia. So, like he said, we're talking about Call of Duty Ghost. So, let's start with you. Alright, so my honest opinion, when I saw the trailer, and yeah, to be honest, they do put a lot in their trailers, um, I was pretty excited, you know, I haven't been excited for a Call of Duty for quite a while, I mean, I like the Black Ops too. I was excited for it, but not as much as I was for Ghost, and, you know, maybe you guys will be like, oh, typical Call of Duty fan, blah blah blah, but I think it, I think it looked pretty cool, they added a ton of new features, a lot of customization, and, you know, I saw the gameplay, and yeah, it did look reminiscent of Modern Warfare 3, but I don't know. I still have some hope for this game. This game looks pretty cool. I I, I think I would really enjoy it. So let's get your opinion. Okay, so I, I have mixed opinions about it now that I've been talking to Treachy about it. Like, when I first saw it, I... I noticed all the new features, but if you notice, they did the same thing with MW3. They showed the trailer, and it looked all different. Then when you played the game, you realize they just added a bunch of new kill streaks and switched up the weapons and the perks and stuff. But then, I started thinking about it a little more. I was thinking, they added, like, that you change your outfits and stuff, and that affects how you play. And that's pretty cool. But, like... For Call of Duty, they they added a lot, but for gaming in general, it, it's not that big a change. And I'm not gonna get it, but I, if I said this to Tretia, but it's only because I don't have the money. Like if I had the money, I'd buy every game, but I just don't. So I have I have Grand Theft Auto 5 to look forward to. Get ready for the next so yeah. Alright, All right. so obviously we, we do have a little bit of conflicting opinions. I'm pro Call of Duty, he is, I don't know, I guess against, I'm not sure, anti? I'm um, not, not sure. In general, I'm anti, but for Ghost, I'll, 5 out of 10 will be Goldbergs. Alright, so um, my honest opinion about the whole adding on new features and stuff like that, to any Call of Duty fan, we would know that adding on new features and... and and just doing a lot of stuff, especially customizable stuff, is cool. Uh, they did it with the first Black Ops, which I liked. They had the whole, you know, cu customizable reticles. They had crap tons of them, and they had like a bunch of the face paints. Now in this one, it's it's a lot of customizable stuff. You can play as a girl now, which is good for my girlfriend. She can be a girl and teabag her freaking enemies or whatever. Still be teabagging <laughs> if they're a girl. I, I, I know it's called something else. I know it's called something else. I just it's got. It's gotta be really like. It's gotta be offensive. That's Obviously, it, it it it. I think it's a bit more offensive if it's if you see a girl player teabagging your dead body, and if it actually is a girl. But anyways, um, I, I did like the, the new features. I mean, yes, with every Call of Duty, it's gonna be new guns, new kill streaks, new maps, and you know, for the Call of Duty haters. Most most of them are gonna be like, oh, it's the same thing repasted. But I want you guys to think about this. If we go backwards, because a lot of people have said this, um, one in particular, what is gamer tag? If we go backwards from Black Ops 2 all the way to Call of Duty 2, how would we actually feel about the game? If everything actually went backwards, Black Ops 2 was released first, and then we went all the way back. How would we feel about the game now? We would definitely feel like the game has literally gotten worse. Like, actually worse. And not just people just complaining about stupid things. Especially, it's the internet. People are going to find things to, to complain about no matter what. But um, that, that's kind of my take on it. What's, what's your opinion? Well, uh, I saw something really funny. Somebody I was following on Twitter, Eat My Addiction 1 on YouTube. He was making fun of all the people who find one thing to complain about, and he was saying like, Oh no, they moved the kill feed to the top right, now it's such a hassle to move my eyes up into the right instead of down to the left. 
Yeah, like see, people just find things to complain about, especially like now with the um, not only Call of Duty Ghost, but with the Xbox One. Like people are still finding stuff to complain about, even though they pretty much reversed it and just made it a PS4. That's a hundred bucks more. Oh. That they they, they 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 pretty much whatever. People still find things to complain. Oh my God, a power brick! I'm not gonna get it. And it, to be, it's to be honest, <laughs> that power brick was pretty big. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was huge, oh my god, that was like, that was cool. Like, that was like the PS4 size <laughs> power brick. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, but yeah, look, I, I get it that some people don't like Call of Duty, and, and here's is, is what I want you guys to really, just really think about. We're all gamers here, we all love games. We all have our own opinions about different games. Some games might actually suck, like you know, in te the technical aspects and in terms of sales. Some games might actually suck, Brink. like um, what? Brink. Brink. Oh, yeah. Um, like yeah, some games have have like have promised something really good and then they have just completely fallen off the radar. However, we have Call of Duty Ghosts. We have other huge games coming out, and. Some of the other games, like this guy is uh, like Grand Theft Auto, the Grand Theft Auto multiplayer reveal was today, and I myself, I'm not excited for it. Oh my god, I, I don't like Grand Theft Auto. But here's the thing, does that mean, does that give me a right to say that it sucks? No. Grand Theft Auto is by no means a bad game. I never got into it. People are like that, I just want you guys to think, you know, think about it, common sense. We're gamers here. If you don't like something, eh, admit you don't like it. You are an individual. Let everybody else like it. Let everybody else be idiots and be all crazy with their fandom and whatever the crap. Just you be smart about it. If you don't like it, you're like, yeah, I don't like it. I'm not gonna waste my time. Moving on. Yeah, unless you're trying to feed the trolls to make it kind of funny, but I don't, I don't encourage that because then you gotta get people that take it seriously. Yeah. And. Because sarcasm is non-existent on the internet. I think it is existent. It's just very, very, very hard to detect because there are a bunch of idiots on the internet. I mean, you can be very sarcastic with things. I'm pretty sure if they... I mean, look at what happened when... Um, it, at, at the at the stream when they're on the, I don't know they brought out some people and they said all right we're gonna have like the best perks or something like that and they're like all right we have martyrdom last stand thank you and it was like what what and they're like no I'm just joking I'm just joking I thought that was pretty funny <laughs> but like I'm pretty sure some people took it very 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 seriously right right even before they said it was a joke and just started hating on the game and then right when soon as they said it was a joke they probably looked like idiots but that's the thing don't be an idiot don't like it you can move on I don't that, care I like it whatever that's something too I want to bring up when they joked about that it was like people have been hating those perks since modern warfare 2 yeah. my thing is why has it taken them this long to realize that like that's just my thing don't so, that it comes down to my this is just in general for games I hate when they're annual releases because then they're rushed out the door, and they don't have time to take in feedback, and it just lowers the quality of them. If, as if they didn't, I mean, if they didn't do it annually, you'd have a game that was like, a million times better. And, and that's the thing, but like, if you think about it, they've done this for years. And with the experience on they have on the time, you know, putting out a game like that in, in just about a year. Basically a two-year cycle because it cycles off the company's Treyarch and Infinity Ward. What happens if they do take a hiatus? Like, they have already learned how to create a, a basically good game in two years. Now, you give them more time, what will happen then? Like, like let's say Call of Duty Ghosts is the last for now, and then the next gen console drop, we wait, we wait a year, maybe two years, maybe a little bit longer, and then Treyarch decides to release their Call of Duty, and since the hiatus, people are gonna be like, wait, where's the other Call of Duty? And then having that extra time would allow them to actually add innovative things. But I'm gonna kind of get into the innovative stuff right now because. A lot of people do complain about the engine and all that stuff, but here's the thing, if it's not broken, why fix it? 
I know a lot of people are kind of tired of kind of looking at the same thing over and over again, but if they cr just created a new engine from scratch, it'd take them it, so long. It'd take them long, and also, a new engine would come with new glitches. It would come with new bugs, and it could be game breaking. And a lot of people, especially with the Call of Duty community, it is going to be a shitstorm if that happens. Yeah, they can make a new engine, and people will get excited about it, but the new glitches will be exploited to hell. I just thought of a great idea. That's What's that? never gonna happen. What if Treyarch and Infinity Ward worked on a game together? Well, technically they are with Ghost for being into the Wii U, but it's it not really real. It's, they're just working on the coding part of it, I'm sure. They're just rewriting the program to work on a Wii U. That's, that's well, pretty much they're, what they're doing. They're probably stripping 99% of the features so that it will work on the Wii U. I heard that, um, that all the features that we do see now are going to be playing on the current generation of systems it's just like they're gonna they're gonna just scale down the graphics a little bit I, that's what they said but that's something know. else that like right now with the call of duties we're in the transition phase between gens so yeah. if they were to do something really innovative they'd wait till when the next gen is like fully embraced and uh like this generation is kind of like like way far behind us because yeah. they have to worry about bringing it on both gens, so they have to make sure it can run on this generation yeah. and be played on the next generation. So they can't really innovate too much. Or change, yeah, so. Or take advantage of the next generation's power. Yeah. We're not going to see a true uh, advantage taking until the next gen consoles have hit everyone's homes already. Um, but right now, you know. We got this, and it is a lot for a Call of Duty game. It is a lot. I mean, for Modern Warfare 2 to Black Ops 2, it was pretty big, but not as big as from Black Ops 2 to this one. I mean, a lot of things changed, and I personally like it. Yeah, I'm on the fence. Like I said, if I had the money, I'd get it, but I don't. Yeah. No. I, I just hope I just hope I can I'm a, I'm able to upgrade because I'm not sure about because I have the money to get it I have the money to like basically pre-order and get it right now, but like I know I want a PS4 so I don't know how the upgrading is gonna work. I know they the game GameStop has their policy on like oh yeah we're gonna upgrade but only for 360 to Xbox One I'm like <sighs> really well Call of Duty is kind of an Xbox title like it's on both but they support the Xbox more. Man, if only if Sony had all their their entire money, because look, Sony is a huge conglomerate. They, yes, they they have movie studios. They have they make freaking batteries. They make everything. I'm pretty sure they have a huge giant safe that they can be like, oh, you, you know what, Activision? Here, just throw them piles of cash. And like, all right, you know, you know what, places you can get to one year before Xbox. That'll be cool. <laughs> See, I don't I don't like the exclusive. Exclusive. I can't. I can't. Exclusivity. Talk. Yeah, exclusivity of it. I'd want them to come out at the same time because take zombies for example. They have all the Easter eggs in there. If either one gets it a month earlier, that takes out the fun of finding the Easter eggs for people for themselves. Yeah. And that's really my only problem with the DLC because. Everybody should get everything at the same time because I know, like at uh, like as a business wise, it's a very smart move. But uh, like as a consumer, neither people should want there to be exclusivity because if one has it for one game, then you know the other is gonna have something like that. Like this generation, or I don't know if it's next gen. Xbox had COD DLC first, but PlayStation had Battlefield DLC first. Yeah. So it was like... That, that was like... That's like Corporation Wars to the max. Because those are... Four franchises that hate each other, teaming up with the other ones. <laughs> to, yeah. That's like Warception. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I think we should uh, time to wrap this up. Yeah. Okay, okay, long. Okay, so this has been Ghost 17 BC and Treachery here. So, like the video if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you guys.